So Barry and Neve, congratulations on Cam with Horses. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, there are so many different kind of themes and issues going on in this movie. I'm sure you got that even from the script. I was wondering if there were one or two things in that script from the beginning that made you both say, yes, this is a project I want to be involved with. I'd known about the, I'd read Young Skins, which this, the story was based off of, there was a book of short stories by Colin Barrett, um, and Colin was like, you know, up, up, up and coming writer in Ireland, and then Shaheen Baig, who cast it, when I heard her name attached, and I heard Barry's name attached, and then I had known about the script, it was just like, it kind of was like a no-brainer, and like, Nick, I'd just seen about, because I was, I was, I was on a train, and I was, I, I was trying to load his short film that he'd done. Plan B? No Plan slap. A, oh yeah, wait, was it the driving one? No, that was the one with um, Joe Cole. Oh, I didn't see and that. And he's a, he's a boxer. And I'd, I, got, I only couldn't, it wouldn't load, and I couldn't watch two minutes of it, and I was like, this is gonna be really special. Yeah. Mm. Was it similar for yourself? Back? Yeah, similar, yeah. I've seen, I seen a thing, a short film, um, of Nick's called Dancing with, in the Ashes. Um, and he shot it for like, he's in the too. he shot it for like, you know, 4,000. And I mean, this was just like what he done with that. It was a, a you know, a, a student movie as well. Um, I just couldn't believe it. Like, you know, and then I seen Plan B, the, the rally car one with Richard Madden. And I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on. And I love that we're seeing, you know, another brilliant like Irish movie. And I know you guys have been, you know, quite involved with the Irish film industry. Barry, you've been in several Irish movies. Neve, only recently you were in The Last Right. I was wondering what are your thoughts on kind of Irish cinema as it stands at the moment? What it's doing really well? What, where do you think it could improve? I mean, I think it's always improving. Um, you know, you've got great Irish filmmakers. You've got Lee, Lee Cronin there as well. He's brilliant. Um, you know, who's who's uh, done the horror genre very well. Um, and Lorcan Finnegan. Lorcan yeah. as well, yeah. You've got like, you know, you've got a lot of, lot of lads there. It's just that you, you just, you want to see, you want to see more support in the sense where, you know what I mean? In the sense of like trying to get more stuff made in Ireland, I suppose it was trickier just with locations and weather. Mm -hmm. It's such a massive thing for Ireland, like like when we shot this, we were so lucky that it was like five weeks where it was the sun yeah. was split. Oh, it was lovely. But the crew, like you've got some of the best crew in this country, mm -hmm. cinematographers, like Piers McGraw who shot this, I've worked with Piers like three times. And like, I think just the, the talent and the way in which, you know, people are trained up. In Everyone's this hungry. Everyone's like, yeah. you know, they're young as well. And, and they, you know, they, they, they're just all on the same page. There's no, no egos, none of that, um, no status, none of that. You know, everyone's just able to make a good film, especially with this one. Like, yeah. I, I really love this shoot. It's really good. It's amazing to see you guys doing so well nationally and internationally as well. I hope you don't mind, but I wanted to ask you briefly, Barry, about uh, being in The Eternals. Mm. I know you probably can't say much, but what can you legally tell us about that part? Yeah, that was a great shoot. That was like five months of really good, uh, you know, I mean, being in a Marvel movie, it's like, <laughs> You know, you dream of that stuff, um, but definitely a new, a new kind of, um, a new, you know, from the indies and, and stuff like that. It's a, uh, it's just a mega production. Um, but I mean, Chloe Zhao was one of the best, you know. So yeah, it went brilliant. So it'll be something a bit different, maybe. Then. Oh yeah, it's gonna be special. Oh yeah. Special. I'm <laughs> I telling like the you. That. <laughs> <laughs> and you for yourself. Um, I read recently that you're gonna be in the next Guy Ritchie movie. I understand. Yeah. Um, Cash Truck. Uh, what well, we... it's untitled Guy Ritchie oh. movie. I think is. Okay. Have Sorry. That's that why I'm doing. You did it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Just, just before. I like... emailed him. He never emailed me back. You know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, oh, he tell him that. Him. <laughs> I did, though. I, I, I went to see a uh, gentleman. The, yeah, and I asked me age. I said, God, I'd love to, like, you know. No, no, because this we literally just finished this. So he gave me his email, and I goes, the typical, hey, here, it's very cool. I'm an actor, <laughs> Irish actor, blah, blah blah, huge fan. Never email me back. Wait, wait and see, Barry. Tell me, come back to that now. God, you'd be like, I can't. I'm making another Eternals. <laughs> I think you'll have to use your connection with me. Well, Neve will get you in there. It's like, at the end of the day, you're, you still put the same amount of effort and research that you're putting into in your acting. It's just you've got 20 more cameras and they've yeah. got twice as much time to do it. And I suppose that's, as me on set, that's what I feel the difference is. But you're still doing exactly what you're going to be doing still if you did an independent yeah. as opposed to a massive uh, high budget Disney 
film. Mm -hmm. So like you're kind of you're always taking the same approach, um, kind of the same approach with both Irish. Absolutely, you shouldn't change. And, yeah. and and we were talking about earlier about being grounded, and I think that maybe just being Irish and that idea that people are they do ground you in the fact that you know don't don't take yourself too seriously, but do take the work seriously. And um, just returning to Cam with horses, like one thing that really struck me about this film is that it's very straight, it's very serious. I'd imagine the um, kind of atmosphere on set was like quite tense. I was wondering how did the director create that sense of tension or was there like a bit of relief or? You threw rocks at us. I know. No. <laughs> Act, you Act. Act. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I thought uh, the set was right again. Going back to earlier on, like the crew was one of the best crews mm. I've ever worked with, and you know the west of Ireland is just a lovely place. Yeah, um, Kilkee was amazing to us in, in County Clare. Beautiful, and we um, were the only people in the town. It was really weird. There wasn't a soul so around. Weird. It was like everyone yeah. died there. No one so. cared if you were like there wasn't like you know we didn't have to shut down streets or anything. Literally, we didn't. So. We were very much left to our own devices. We felt like that was the town in which yeah. the film was set. But was mine, me and Barry only have like a handful of scenes together, but most of my scenes were with Killian, yeah. who, who plays Jack. And <coughs> I think when you're working with kids, everyone changes on set. Everyone's trying to make it as fun and light as possible, despite the subject matter, especially, you know, Killian was four mm -hmm. when we shot it. And you want, especially for a child, I think everyone just feels very protective that it's an enjoyable experience. So no one is, freaking out if something is, is, is going wrong. You know, we're making films, we're not saving lives. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think that, um, I mean, I was really struck by, and it's something that your character Ursula says actually, talking about loyalty versus uh, servitude. I was wondering what each of your thoughts were on that kind of theme. Have you kind of seen it, like, you know, in families or what are your general thoughts on it? <laughs> You're gonna have to think about that down. one. Uh, I think what for Ursula is she's kind of, per, you know, she she gave birth to Jack, and it was the idea that her loyalties completely moved over to being a mum, and she had to leave behind the life that she would have led with with Arm, and you know, even me as a person, like loyalty and honesty is a major is a major factor in you know people who I surround myself with. So I think I think anyone can, can ground themselves in that and the idea of the... Yeah, I, you know, my character definitely isn't loyal, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, I'm I'm loyal, you know. Everyone likes to say that they're loyal, though, as well. No one's going to go, I'm not loyal. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm far different to that. He's uh, he's all for himself, that that, that character. Um, and he'll, he'll put anyone under the bus, like, so... Well, when I when I watched it, yeah. uh, what Barry ca like captured with with Cosmo's character is that there is that brotherhood. That's like, true. Yeah. You he refers to Arm the whole way through as a brother because for for yeah, Dimna he doesn't have a brother in it. I know what you're saying, but this is what I gathered from. But there is a lot like because then it, I don't know. I just felt like. Maybe it was just your on-screen chemistry with Cosmo. Yeah, it just I, almost looked like we wanted to kiss him. <laughs> there was, there's a lot of them moments. At one point, we had each other. It was like in the nightclub, and I'm. I get I'm that a lot, though. You know, they're like, they're like, stop looking, looking at, at his lips. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. That's something I do. I look at someone's lips when they talk. So, you know. Well, you know what? I think that that's definitely going to get people yeah. to come and see it. So, well done again on the movie. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so much for Thanks. chatting to me today.